The earth. It is our home that we live in. It contains necessities for human life and it holds the protection we all need to survive. Yet though it is our main contributor to why we can live every day, we fail to investigate the health of our environment just as we would the health of our loved ones. Some might think that the earth is normal, cannot be harmed, and that there is no imminent danger. Yet they do not know that they may, in fact, be a part of harming the earth. How, you may ask? In about five minutes, starting now, we will show you. All of the events of the past decade, all of our memories, have something in common. They all took place during the hottest decade ever recorded since humans began keeping temperature records about 150 years ago. In the last decade, the Earth's temperature rose roughly a third of a degree Fahrenheit. Since 1880, it's risen about one and a half degrees. You might say the Earth's running a fever, and scientists predict it's going to get much worse. Deforestation is one of the causes that affects temperature increases. Deforestation increases carbon dioxide concentration by releasing this heat-trapping gas in the Earth's atmosphere, thereby warming the Earth. Through the use of satellites and complex imaging, we have been able to view different areas of Earth for areas that have lost forest and trees. In the Amazonian region alone, scientific researchers said in the science journal that since 2001, about 837,000 square kilometers of forest have been cleared, primarily due to the cattle and soybean production. Others stated that Amazon has the world's highest absolute rate of forest destruction, current average of nearly 2 million hectares per year. However, strong vapors and scents originating from pine trees emit aerosols which reflect solar radiation and cause clouds to form that also can cool the earth and the loss of forest in the northern latitudes can increase the Earth's albedo effect or in more simple terms, deforestation can reflect the sun's radiation off the Earth and instead of the Earth absorbing it, actually cools the Earth. But will aerosols and the albedo effect be enough to combat the increasing CO2 levels arising from deforestation and other human disturbances? Unfortunately not, the cooling effect aerosols and the albedo effect have in the northern latitudes is actually the opposite in tropical rainforests around the equator. And if this is not enough, scientists estimate that humans release about 9 billion tons of carbon, mostly carbon dioxide, each year by burning fossil fuels and by changing the landscape. Today the average growth rate of carbon emission due to those factors is 3.2% per year. Just not only these increasing factors, but other contributing factors that we have not even discussed will certainly do much to increase global temperature. So what have we learned through all this? Global mean surface air temperatures over land and oceans have increased over the last 150 years. Human activities are continuing to affect the Earth's climate by increasing greenhouse gas emissions such as carbon dioxide and by changing land surface properties. Climate change, whether driven by natural or human costs, can lead to further global temperature increases. How do we prevent this? Together we need to end these human disturbances such as deforestation that are affecting global climate and find alternatives such as clean energy, natural gas, while promoting solar or electrical power as main sources of energy. Each of us has a big role to play. Because I, because I can determine my future, your future, and our future for the betterment of this world and mankind. We can change the world.